Steve Robbins here. Welcome to the Get It Done Guys Quick and Dirty Tips to Work Less and Do More. Listener Mick writes in, I'm about to reach out to some senior people in my organization to get mentorship. How can I be sure that I'm using the right people? And more broadly, how can I set up the mentoring relationship to succeed? Mentors. I just love mentors. They're so chewy and taste great, and they explode if you put them in Diet Coke. Oh, oh, I'm thinking of mentos. Yes, I love those too. But I also love mentors nonetheless. Mentors can really help accelerate your career tremendously. A mentor is someone with experience in the realm that you're dealing with, be it a company, an industry, or a difficult situation. A mentor typically gives you guidance, they act as a sounding board, and they sometimes actively help promote you inside or outside of an organization. When looking for a mentor, you want someone who can be unbiased and has no conflict of interest with you and your agenda. For example, if you work in a very political environment and you choose your boss as your mentor, your desire to have her fired and take over her job could be at odds with her desire to turn you into a mindless wage slave who exists only to fetch her coffee. If your mentor's project competes with yours for budget, headcount, status recognition, or customers, it can also cause problems. So select a mentor with appropriate experience. Let's be honest for a moment, just the two of us. We'd all like to choose the mentor who has the coolest car, washboard abs, and a husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, spousal equivalent, or polyamorous family unit who's so gorgeous they don't need airbrushing. Don't. Know what guidance you want from your mentor, and choose a mentor who has expertise in that area. If you're an up-and-coming restaurant manager for Ashley's Drippin' Lickin' Good Deep Fried Popsicles, with entrepreneurial ambitions of someday starting your own restaurant group, you might be looking for a mentor in any one of several areas. Career advancement within the Drippin' Lickin' Good Enterprises, becoming a prominent thought leader in the restaurant industry, or entrepreneurship in franchised chains. Find mentoring from competent mentors. And if it isn't obvious, make sure your mentor is competent in the areas that you'll be wanting guidance. You know that loser who never quite met sales quota but is still employed thanks to being the CEO's firstborn child? Not the person to go to for sales advice, but perhaps the person to go to for psychological insight into the CEO. A funny thing about competence, however, is that it depends on the area. A highly competent salesperson can suck at strategy and vice versa. But some competent people believe their competence in one area makes them an expert in other areas. If you choose a mentor like this, take the good stuff. But know where their competence ends and remember that when deciding what to take seriously. When you approach a mentor, mentoring is a choice someone will make that will take time and expertise. Mentors are a bit like cats. You may like the cute furry one with stripes, but if it doesn't like you back, you'll end up with bloody scratches in embarrassing places. When you approach a prospective mentor, do it in a way that shows the most respect for them and their time and their agenda. Give them some idea of why you chose them and what kind of commitment you want from them. Excuse me, chairperson Basara, I've respected you since arriving at this company. Your judgment in the infamous Twinkie incident was impeccable. I would like to learn to be that awesome. Would you be willing to meet with me quarterly and help me develop that kind of judgment? Don't make your mentors do the work. Your mentor is contributing wisdom you contribute the initiative. Do all the work of contacting your mentor, arranging times to meet, and making it super convenient for them. And remember to thank them. Mentoring isn't free. Your mentor has to get something out of the relationship too. Now what they get is the intangible pleasure of helping a promising young person the way someone once helped them. Or it could be something more sinister, like the chance to betray you at the last minute, turn you into their pawn, and sacrifice your firstborn child in a supernatural quest to take over the elder spheres. Whatever it is they get, do what you can to give them respect, help, and appreciation. Thank them. Send a handwritten thank you card after you meet. Once you've established a relationship, drop them a line occasionally with no agenda other than expressing how much you appreciate the relationship. Len, your presence in my life has made a huge difference. I appreciate your guidance, perspective, and help. Thank you. You'll probably be the first person who's ever done that, and it will make a huge impression. Ending a mentorship. Ooh, all good things come to an end. We know that because entropy always increases. But even before that, mentoring relationships may also come to an end. When that happens, you may elect to remain friends or you may cut ties altogether. Check out my previous episode on how to gracefully move on from a mentor for details. Eric Pazinski saw me speak in public and asked me to mentor him. He's taken the initiative to pursue me even when I've been busy and non-responsive. He gets on my calendar. He travels to me, he's respectful of my time, and he sends gracious handwritten thank you cards. 
When we get together, I happily share advice, perspective, and contacts I would charge thousands for with a regular consulting client. Hmm. I do give him an awful lot. I wonder if he's planning on having a firstborn child. I only need one. This is Steve Robbins. You can find this episode's transcript with links to the previous Moving On From Your Mentor episode at getitdone.quickanddirtytips.com. I help high-growth entrepreneurs and small business owners develop their people to produce effective, productive, profitable organizations. If you want to know more, visit steverrobbins.com. That's S-T-E-V-E-R-R-O-B-B-I-N-S.com. Work less, do more, and have a great life. <laughs>